G'day guys, how we doing? Welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane, the Queen of Belmain. Today, we're gonna talk about crate training. Alrighty, so I'm gonna come straight out and say it. I am the badass dog parent who crate trained his dog. I stuck Lucy in a cage. Um, that sounds pretty bad when you look at it that way, but let's open your eyes. Um, crate training is a bit of a taboo topic in the doggo world, German Shepherd world, whatnot. But, um, so we wanted to kind of debunk the myths about the evil crate um, and actually show and give advice and tips on actually how beneficial it is to crate train your dog. And um, like again, this could be seen as a very cruel thing. Like, and I suppose if it is mistreated and misused, yeah, of course it is. You're sticking a dog in a cage, like, and you know, you, you lock it in there and throw away the key. That's pretty terrible. But um, crate training itself, done properly, is an amazing tool. I was lucky enough to speak to our dog trainer who helps me along the way with Lucy. Will from Master of Puppies, and he's an ex-military dog trainer, one badass dude, an amazing guy, probably one of the best trainers in the country. I challenge you to find a better trainer. So I had a chat to him about crate training and he gave me a list of reasons on why you would want to crate train your dog. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through his, his list on why and reasons why you'd crate train your dog and then I'm going to elaborate from personal experience where this has helped Lucy and myself and my wife. Alrighty, so first reason why you want to crate train is builds confidence whilst being on their own and also helps diminish separation anxiety. That is 100% accurate. So we experienced this firsthand by crate training Lucy. We were able to leave her in a safe and secure place in the house, which is inside her crate as a little puppy. And then we were able to leave the house and we could build that confidence in herself that she can be left alone. And then we'll also have the confidence that she's safe whilst being left alone. Now, we didn't just pop her in her crate, where there was a transition period where we took time introducing her into the crate, and then we lengthened the amount of time we spent outside of the house while she was inside the house in her crate. And over a few weeks, we built this up and built this up and built this up. As she's a little puppy, she's growing, and her bladder's also getting bigger so she can hold on longer. But essentially, we built this up over time, and then every time we left the house, she wouldn't lose her bun. Now, we were quite lucky with Lucy. She's naturally a very independent doggo as well. So she was quite more than happy after about the second and third attempt of us leaving the house with her secured in her crate, she was completely fine. The first two times, she, she whined a little bit, but after about two minutes, she completely settled herself. Now again, we didn't pop her in her crate and bug her off for eight hours. You would never do that with a little puppy. We popped her in her crate and we just stood out the front door for a few minutes. And then we came back in. And then a couple of hours later, we'd do it a little bit longer and we'd go a little bit further. And then over a period of a week, we were able to say, pop her in her crate, she's secured, she's safe. And then I could go to the gym for an hour. And then eventually we got longer and longer and longer with the stays that she could stay inside of her crate. Because at the end of the day, you need to build confidence in your dog so they don't develop separation anxiety, or you're never gonna be able to leave the house. And if you, that's just not a way to live. You have to be able to leave the house. Your dog has to be independent to some extent inside the house or on the property. Alrighty, so the next one is, the crate becomes their safe place and a place they can go to get away from us. That is absolutely 110% correct. So. Lucy loves her crate. It is her sanctuary. She will pop herself to in there multiple times a day. Yes, the exterior of her crate is a steel cage. That is what it is. It, it is a steel cage in a room. But to her, it is, it, it is her own little bedroom. It is her own sanctuary where her things are in there and she can do whatever the hell she likes and it smells of her and and that's just how it is, and it's the way that she likes it. Now, I don't use this as a punishment tool or a correction tool or anything of the sort because I want her crate to just, to every thought of her crate means safety and security, and 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 that that's what it is, and that's that allows her and allows us to have confidence in her crate. 
Now another great thing of this is say hypothetically if we have someone that comes into the house that didn't like dogs um, and that's happened multiple times with us just in one of the businesses that I have uh, where I had clients coming around and I do assessments and things. Some of them don't like dogs. A lot of people are afraid of German Shepherds and that's just that's just how it is. They, and they don't have to like dogs or German Shepherds. So I need a safe place to put Lucy where she's happy and I need to for the people to come into my house and also feel safe and happy. Alrighty, the next reason why you want to crate train is helps build a routine for toilet training at a young age. This made toilet training so easy for us. Now, I actually saw a video on the internet about this, and this is actually even before I had a trainer. I think it was from the German Shepherd Man. Um, kudos to him, he's got a great channel. And I saw how he gave a lesson on how to crate train a puppy for toilet training, and it was freaking awesome. What we did, we literally, we got a crate for Lucy, and we measured it all up for her. Don't make it too big because you don't want them to go into. You don't want them to go to the toilet inside of their crate. So the whole idea of it is you you pop your dog in your crate for quiet time, and then you bring your dog out every hour or so, and you take them straight outside. You carry them straight outside, pop them onto the grass, let them go to the toilet, give them praise, and then being a little puppy, they will have to go pretty much every hour. Give them praise and make a big deal of it have a little play, play a bit of tug of war, um, get them excited, tie them out after about 15 minutes because again, it's a little puppy, it doesn't take much. Pop, pick them back up, pop them back in their crate, close the door, let them settle, and then repeat the process. Now that's something that we did for the first couple of weeks with Lucy and we nailed toilet training. We had about two or three accidents in the house. Again, it was my own fault because I didn't pick up on the signs and she was completely toilet trained. It made it so freaking easy. The next reason why you'd want to crate train your pup and get a new to crates is because of travel. So if you were to drive somewhere, you need to have your dog secured in a crate. If you're going to fly somewhere, they're going to have to be secured in a crate. If you're going to do any type of traveling, pretty much most of the time, they're going to be secured in a crate, either that be land, sea, or air. Don't do your dog the disservice by not introducing them to the crates early on in life. It's just a fact of life when a, an animal is transported, like this size animal, they're going in a crate. That's just how it is. So let's make it a happy, safe environment for them where they want to hang out and just have some alone time. That's kind of how you want it to be for them. And again, you've got to remember, the crate is a safe place. When in, a, in a very disruptive environment where there's moving and loud noises and it's going to be very stressful. Even even for a big dog that's completely okay with that, maybe like a like a police service dog or something like, you still want them to feel secure and safe and they have their own environment and they can control what happens to them in their own surroundings which happens to be inside the crate. So again, crate training is extremely vital and I highly recommend. Now another reason why you want to crate train your pup is going to the vet. Now you could be super duper anti crate trainer, you could think it's the meanest, harshest thing in the world, it doesn't matter. Your dog is going in a crate when it's at the vet, whether you like it or not. So it, it is a safe place for them, it is a safe place for the pup. First hand, Lucy loves jumping into pretty much any crate, any cage, she'll hop into it and she'll chill out. So just recently, a little while ago, when we took Lucy back to the vet, she had to go straight into a crate. She loved it. Bang. She jumped off the floor into the second highest crate from the floor, and she was straight in there. Big smile, relaxed, laid down. It creates a very easy job for the vet. Hey, your dog's not all stressed out, and it, you know, it's already going in there for some type of operation, or assessment, or checkup. Like, And the vets are already a scary place. So look, for dogs. So let's not make it even worse and just get them comfortable with a crate. And you just think, if your dog is uncomfortable going to the vet, at least when they see the crate, they go, hey, that's a safe place for me. I'm gonna go hop into there. So again, whether you like it or not, you're anti-crate training hippie or not, you think it's a cruel place or not, at the vet, which is the safest place in the world for a freaking dog, they're gonna go into a crate at some point in time. Also, another great reason why you want to crate train your pup is you can put them somewhere so the human can have time out from the pup. And again, this isn't for a punishment. This is just, you have a place where you can secure your pup if it's not the time or not the place. 
Um, if you know you don't have to have every waking moment where your dog's bouncing off the walls and in your face, that's not it at all. It's you're the boss, you're the alpha, that's your house, it's your rules. You can secure your pup in a safe place where they can calm themselves, they can relax, you can have some time out, you're happy, the pup's happy, everyone is happy. Anyway guys, that is our video on crate training. This isn't a video on how to crate train, this is a video on just like reasons on why you would want to crate train. And just to help shed and get rid of that negativity around crate training, people think it's an evil thing, it is not. It is actually the complete opposite. It is 110% necessary. Some of the most amazing dog owners in the entire world that I know crate train their pups. And so if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me, it's good enough for you. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions below about crate training, um, drop them below. If I cannot answer them because I'm not a dog trainer, I will ask my trainer or I'll ask a trainer and we'll see if we can get those answered for you. Guys, anyway, if you're not already, please subscribe. Lucy, we're gonna go walkies? Yes, we're gonna go walkies. She's been waiting very patiently for this. Um, <laughs> that's why she looks cranky. But we're gonna head out now and go do it.